KTK Swiss Draft. So uh, hopefully we hit eight soon. But in the meantime, uh, do want to review some uh, some awesome sauce stuff. Um, basically, Fates Reforged. I, I think that uh, you just have to go through and just pick the bomb in every color, um, and then oh hey, we're starting up now. And then see how it turns out, and then see see what you fall into for cons. You don't can't really force anything. As far as face force, what is this? Shamanic revolution. Draw a card for each creature you control. Well, that seems good. I think we're gonna just rare draft, rare, blah, rare draft that, right? That I mean, the other option might be. I mean, the last time, the last one, the last draft that we did went pretty well. We uh, we went two and one with a Jeskai prowess deck. It was our first time going two and one in this format. It's really, really refreshing to learn that we don't suck as bad as we thought that we did. Okay. Four for a three-three warrior. Oh, it's really chilly in my room, so I'm gonna go put on some slippers. Be right back. All right. So slippers are on. Shamanic revelation is chosen. Let's just grab this card. Let's get out of here. All right. So our our Arishin war beast. I've never. I mean, I've definitely watched a bunch of replays and tried to figure out where I'm going wrong in this set. I've never seen this do well. <laughs> Lotus Eye Mystics, what is this? The 4 for a 3-2 Prowess. Ooh. Ooh, Lotus Eye Mystics seems good. Like, really good. What's green-white? Abzan? What else? That's it, right? Okay. Lotus Eye Mystics seems really good. Other options are uh, Sky Captain, and Outcast. And also Battle, Battle Rage is also an option here. We're just going to take Mystics here because it's awesome, I think. Yeah, 4 for a 3 2 prowess with, and get something back is good. Let's do that. Frontier. Oh, I've got a third to pick Siege? Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the Siege. Oh, maybe, maybe we should take the Dragonfire. War Flare is an option here. Lots of good cards. Lots of good cards here. But I'm just not going to pass a Siege. Um, this is actually probably the weaker of the Sieges that I've seen. But Sieges in general are just in insane powerhouse cards. Um, and I could handle an extra 4 mana per turn. That sounds like a good deal. Sandblast is also an option. This is great removal. We've got another Bathe and Dragonfire. But still, Siege. Right? I mean, Warflare is also fantastic. This is actually a really good pack, but Siege. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go with Siege. Um, Winds is pretty good, and Warflare is good, and Soul Summons is good. So, I can't really see us going red, white, green, so I'm not sure about the Warflare. Sort by color. Uh, so I'm looking at the Soul Summons here, and over the Winds, just because Soul Summons, I, I always feel like we're a little bit low on creatures. Winds are really, really good, but Soul Summon is Soul Summon. It's a, it's a, it's a two-drop, uh, so it's a second turn morph if we really, if we want, if we get lucky. Um, kind of torn between Winds and Soul Summons here. Not really seeing a lot of black, which is scary. Think about taking the soul, the winds, just because it's an uncommon. We probably won't see another one. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take the winds. Destructor dragon, mm. dragon it just looks cool. Mm. Um, and other than that, there's nothing really. Another war flare and another soul summons, huh? Wow, this is insane. So red white, this could either be Mardu or Jeskai, and this is like nowhere near where we are. So either destructor dragon. is a 4-4 four, four flyer for 6. Eh. Mm. Or soul summons. Mm. And it was really bothering me that we're not seeing any black. Like, no black. Let's go with the dragon here. And I feel like I'm going to regret just continually passing these summons. Uh, Esper's not a thing. So we're basically in Abzan for sure. And so I guess... We should take this uh, Douse and Gloom, or the Map the Wastes. Either one are, are decent cards. Um, I like Map the Wastes probably more than I should. I definitely think Douse and Gloom is better. Especially because it looks like we're kind of... I mean, 
we have, we're, all, we're not really forcing ourselves into Abzan. We do have one whole white card. We could be uh, Soul Tie, right? And what else has green in it? Uh, teamer, but not really. I, I don't want to go Teamer. Let's go. You know, let, let, let's start pushing towards Abzan. So I'm going to take the Dows and Gloom. Um, here I think the Macedon is the right pick. Uh, or Sandblast. Sandblast, I think I'm going to take over in Macedon just because removal is removal is removal. Um, Ramp, I think, is not that effective in this format, which is a little bit weird considering how I was harping on the Siege. But not that big, big of a fan of Whisper of the Wilds. I'm going to take Sandblast. Yeah. Um, Map the Waste, I think, is what we're going to grab here. Ethereal Ambush is pre pretty late. I think this is a underrated card. Carsey Hi High Priest is very good. Let's take Map the Waste, though. Yeah. Uh, here's our Mastodon if we want to pick it up. We could also pick up some Fixing. Has Lifelink as long as you control a white or black permanent. This actually fits in with us really well, doesn't it? And we, this is this is our wheeling pack. So we could take the, the Kin Guard, the Mastodon, or the Fixing here. Got all kinds of options. Four for a 3-3 three, three Lifelink. That's okay. Well, let's, let's, let's lower our curve. Let's go with Mastodon over the Kin Guard. I actually like Mastodon a lot. Uh, let's take Formless Nurturing here. Or oh, Hooded Assassin's not bad either. 3 for a 2 3 is good, and also, I've never seen him ha have the ability used. But let's take the, the Nurturing, I think. I think that's the right play. 4 for a 3 3 or, two, or 3 for a 2 3. Eh, Formless Nurturing, I think, is better. Lots of green. We're drafting lots of green. Uh. <laughs> I think. I, I, I like Dark Deal, just because it's like a black Wheel of Fortune. We might we might play with that. I, I, I want to I see how that works. Um, two and two and Vigilance. Vigilance is not that great. I'd rather First Strike. So I guess that's the, the red one, the Mardu one. I think we're going to take Ancestral Vengeance. I'm not sure if we're... Or maybe the Kushok. That's not very exciting. Let's take the Vengeance. Let's take another Vengeance. Let's take uh, Abzan Advantage and sideboard this. It does feel weird about this set that uh, there's never a land at the end. I think that they, they, they replaced the land with a common or they replaced the land with one of the cons land or something, right? That is something they did, right? I'm not sure. Alright, so now we're back into the cards that we know. We are Abzan, so what does that mean for us? It means that we can't take any of these. Uh, Seeker of the Way is not bad. Uh, I'd rather have the Mistfire Weaver, though. So, I mean, we could drop white and go Soul Tie, maybe. It's a possibility. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, let's take Seeker of the Way. See what happens. Maybe that was too fast. We did just pass Clever Impersonator. Uh, black, white, green. Long shot squad's not bad. Teamer charger, eh. Kieran maybe. Win uh no, that's we're not in blue. We're in Abzan. Uh I guess we'll take the teamer charger. Not sure about this pick. I'm not sure I'm torn between teamer charger, the Kieran, and long shot squad. I don't really know how to rate those. And they're all well, two green, one white. Maybe we should go with the white card here. No, let's go. Let's go with the teamer charger. I mean, it's a morph. It, it, people won't know what it is, or it's a two drop. I kind of like that. Uh, ankle shanker. Hi. Maybe we could splash red for you. Lots of cool cards in here. None. I mean, we could take the bondkin. But I almost want to. I, if I'm going to grab the ankle shanker just in case we pick up some red fixing. So let's add that to the sideboard. Ooh, Trail of Mystery. Trail of Mystery, really? Okay, we're going to take the trail here. Definitely a fan of that card. I don't even look at the rest of the pack. Um, 
Now that we have Trail, we're probably going to go with Sage Eye Harrier over Hooting Mandrels. Right? Sure. So to our left is Azeroth, Az Azazoth, Azazoth. To our right is Dorvan. Okay. Definitely like Trailer Mystery. A lot. Whenever, oh, it's whenever a face down creature. Ooh, it doesn't say morph. Oh, I wish we took those stupid soul summons. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? Whenever a face down creature enters. Oh, okay, what do we have that says give me face down? I don't think we have anything that says give me face down, which is really frustrating. Let's take the red green fixing here so this way we can squeeze in our ankle shanker. Might make it a little bit awkward, but I think it's worth it. Ooh, we are low on creatures. Um, nothing really here for us. Maybe a shambling attendance? No, we're going to take the black red fixings this way we can squeeze in our ankle shanker. Weird. We're definitely drafting a little bit of a weird deck here. I think the third pack is either going to make or break us. I don't really know. Sort by converted mana cost. I think Essential Vengeance might not make it in. Vengeance I. Vengeance is. I'm going to put these over here in the possibilities section. Possibles. You go there. Um, I think debilitating injuries is a quick grab here. For sure. It's really late. Uh, the other option there was the Kirin. But I'm more interested in morphs at this point because now we have Trail of Mystery. Huh. Definitely doing this a little bit weirdly. Uh, we are Abzan. So I, not, not a lot here for us. Let's just take the Bloodfell case for more red fixing, I guess. Whoever's Mardu is really going to hate us. Um, Longshot Squad Wield, which is a little... Well, no, it was a really good pack here. So, I mean, the, we're going to take Longshot Squad over Kintry Warden for sure, I think. Yep. Smoke Teller? I mean, it's just a blank 2-2. Two -two. We can't even use the ability. Yeah, Smoke Teller. Why not? We're a little bit low on creatures. Sideboard the Dutiful Return. Colossodon, sure. Feed the Clan, sideboard. Oh man, yeah, that, I think two drafts ago we lost to a, to a deck that was running Feed the Clan, and I just wanted to commit Harry on video right there. That was pretty bad. So going into the third pack, I want to see a little bit more creatures. Uh, probably not going to play Smoke Teller. Uh, well, maybe it is a two drop. I'm not sure. Hardened Scales is not for us. Incremental Growth might be. Absent Guide also might be. We're going to take the Growth over the Guide. Uh, lots of good stuff here. Nightblade, Seeker of the Way, Absent Guide, Longshot Squad, Throttle. Uh, something good is going to wheel out of this for sure for us. So let's take the Growth. Um, torn between the Bloodsucker and the Captain. I think the Captain's better, so I think we're going to go with that. Yep. Black? No. Take up arms is an option. Uh, jungle hollow is an option. Abzan guide, I think is. Oh, whoops! I didn't even see that. Um, does take up arms do anything for us? I don't think so. I mean, maybe ankle shanker plus take up arms, but not really. 
I think Abzan Guide is definitely better because it's a morph. Pinewalker is good for us because it's a morph. And it's a creature that we are kind of needing. Ooh, hello, Abzan Ascendancy. That's incredibly late. I would love to have you in my deck. Thank you for showing up. That's really nice. That is really nice. But it is a little bit awkward that now we have no Abzan fixing. I just realized that. Zero Abzan fixing. So we just, we're just splashing three red sources for our ankle shanker, maybe? I'm not really sure how that's going to work out for us. It's a little bit weird. Um, definitely going to start prioritizing Abzan fixing if we see some. Which, of course, we won't. Uh, maybe Seek the Horizon? Um, just because they're fixing so bad? But I think Sultai Scavenger is the right pick here. Let's put that in the 5 spot, take out the Colossidon. Let's take out the Abzan Advantage, I think. I like that we have mapped the way, so it's going to be kind of helpful. Just ditch the dark deal. I don't think there's room to play around with that here. Um, so our primary color is definitely green. <laughs> I'm interested to play this. It seems like a cool card. Black-white Scoured Barons, just what the doctor ordered. Uh, Black-green Jungle Harrow? I think so. Alright, good. Now I'm starting to feel slightly better about this. We're at 24 cards now. Huh. We have three red sources for a one red card. It's a little unfortunate. I do have to make at least one cut, maybe two. I thought I had two Abzan guides. Guess not, though. Ooh, let's take a throttle. Now we need to make two cuts. <laughs> Trying to figure out... Let's just hate, hate on the uh, Snowhorn Rider, maybe? Yeah. Just taking a race. Just because there's a lot of enchantments, you know, so having two enchantment removal spells are not the end of the world for us. We do have to ditch a bunch of cards. Like two. I just don't know what they're going to be. I want to wait till I can sort by creature or non-creature. Ooh, Lens of Clarity, alright. And we're off to the races, alright. I, I kind of feel like the, the right card to ditch would be Ankle Shanker. Which is unfortunate. Or, but, I don't know. Ankle Shanker is just such a win condition. So awesome. Sort by converted mana cost. Oh, look, you already did that for me. Thank you. Uh, Sultai Scavenger will go there. Sage Eye Harrier goes here. Oh, we do have a little uh, Manifestation Maker. Okay. Morph comes here. Teamer Charger maybe goes there. do kind of have a lot going on. It's a little bit weird. We 
We do have a lot going on, don't we? Trail, winds, smoke teller, injury, seeker. There's a lot going on in this deck. There really is. Okay. Let's take this out. Let's group creatures separately. Let's keep all the removal. Uh, debilitating Sandblast, Douse. You are a creature. Throttle. I almost want to not play the Siege. Is that insane? I don't know. No, we're not going to do that. What's the other option? A creature with flying enters the battlefield under control. It, it, it fights something. We have one, two flyings. Three, if, but that'll be played as a morph, so not really. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to use the other option. It's basically to add two green per turn if we want. Or four green, actually. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. Um, we might be ditching Frontier Sage, but I really want to just play with the card, see how it plays. I, I, I think it could be really good. Um, kind of want to ditch Smoke Teller. Yeah, we can't activate it. It's just a, it's just a two drop. That's it. That's the only thing it is, which brings us down to thirteen creatures because we're counting formless nurturing as a creature. Uh, twenty-four duo with this curve. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do, guys. Oh, it, it's kind of a low curve. I mean, we're hovering around three a lot, and then we have uh, just five bigger drops. I don't know if that's just. I don't know if that just was warranted or not. Just five bigger drops. I don't know. Huh. I do want to play the ankle shanker. It's really looking like frontier siege, but just might not be the card for us here. What else would I cut? Map maybe. It's either frontier siege or the winds maybe. I can see myself cutting the winds. Although it is it is an insanely powerful card. Let's cut the winds. I really want to play the siege. And if we get into a bad spot, we're going to that's going to sideboard. That's our first sideboard option. We are going to take out win, take out siege and put in winds. Cuz we have a lot of enchantments. We got uh map, we have uh, trail, we have siege. And we have Ab Abzan Ascendancy, so uh, I've got a feeling our opponents are going to side in a bunch of enchantment hate against us, and I don't blame them. Add some lands here, let's see what they suggest. There's no red. Uh, 449, seriously? 557, five, maybe? Put in a red green take out a green put in a green black take out a green put in two red blacks take out two blacks and put in a black white take out a white so we do have a lot of fixing uh, we can add one more land I wouldn't mind uh, s whoops sort by color combine so we do have one two Three? Is that it? We only have three red sources? Yeah, I guess so. We have three red sources. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. Okay. That's a lot of black sources. And then white. One, two, three, four, five white sources. Let's take out a black source, put in a, plain, a white source. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, for green, okay. So what does that bring us to? Sort by color. Um, so let's do. Let's start over. White. One, two, three, four, five, six white sources. Four, seven white cards. Okay. Black. Two, three, four, five, six black sources. Four, six black cards. Okay. Green. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's dangerous. That's really dangerous. 
I don't like that at all. Just running seven forests for this heavy green. It's kind of ridiculous. Although we are running the siege. But if we don't start with the green mana in hand, we're going to have to mull. Let's uh, add an extra forest, and we're running 18 lands in a 41 card deck. I like that concept. With 12 creatures? Okay. We'll see how it goes. Um, 18 lands, 21 card, or 41 card deck. Okay. I'll do this. Alright. Let's submit. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a limited queue. Uh, I'll be sure to post the rest of the video, see how this does.